and so on into chapter 16. The creature at this point says, it begins, cursed, cursed creator, why did I live? He, like Satan, has been thrown out of heaven or paradise twice now. And he says, the cold stars shone in mockery and the bare trees waved their branches above me. And now the sweet voice of a bird bursts forth amidst the universal stillness. All, save I, were at rest or enjoyment. I, like the arch fiend, bore a hell within me. And of course he refers or alludes to Satan in Paradise Lost who says I bore hell to, within me. It just wasn't that Lucifer was cast out of heaven and into hell, but wherever Satan went, he took hell with him. So now this is how the creature feels. feels. And he says, From that moment I declared everlasting war against the species, and more than all against him who had formed me and sent me forth to this unsupportable uh, misery. And again, uh, this is the same thing that Satan vows in Paradise uh, Lost. And so he continues on uh, from uh, the DeLacy family. Again, he's, he's been kicked out. And he goes, he has learned from the papers that Victor has created him. And so he decides to seek Victor out, feeling that um, from only you could I hope for succor, although towards you I felt no sentiment but that of hatred. Unfeeling, heartless creator, you had endowed me with the perceptions and passions and then cast me abroad an object for the scorn and horror of mankind. Now, as the creature leaves from the DeLacy family and goes out again wandering, fall is coming and winter is coming, and he says, Nature decayed around me and the sun became heatless. Nature is changing because of, oh, of course, it's the natural progression of the seasons, and I realize that, but everything has a symbol, right? Or almost everything. And that is symbolic of how the creature feels. He has declared hatred. He feels really bad. Not that he's ever felt really good, but now it's worse than ever. And so nature reflects the barrenness he feels inside, and he travels through the winters of um, the winter, the winterscape. And then he saves the little girl from drowning. And what happens? Well, before that, he says, um, the sunshine has started to get warmer, and he said, I felt emotions of gentleness and pleasure that had long appeared dead revive within me. And then he sees the little girl, saves her from drowning, and uh, is, is actually trying to bring her back to life. But when her father or the other men come along, uh, they just shoot him, and he runs off into the woods, and he says, This was then the reward of my benevolence, and I had saved a human being from destruction, and as a recompense, now writhed under the miserable pain of a wound which shattered the flesh and bone. So with the spring and the warmth returning, his benevolence returns, the symbolism there. This is what probably spurs him on to save the little girl, but then he is rewarded with great pain. Now, you have to admit that in this book there are some um, really strange, co strained coincidences. Now, Victor would say, well, it's fake. They're not strained or strange. Because, and, and the reason I say this, because it is at this point, he meets William. And uh, he's thinking at this point, hey, you know, son, I'm going to kidnap a kid. I'm going to take that kid off into the wilderness and raise it to be my companion. He says, he didn't say it quite like that. This is how he said. An idea sees me that this little creature was unprejudiced and had lived too short a time to have imbibed a horror of deformity. If, therefore, I could seize him and educate him as my companion and friend, I should not be so desolate in this peopled earth. And, of course, this doesn't work out because, of course, William has already this prejudice against the deformed person. 
And then by chance, he says, you know, my father is Alphonse Frankenstein. And then the creature puts it together and he realizes that this is a relation of um, Victor. And he says, I too can create desolation. My enemy is not invulnerable. And he kills the child. He says, I remembered that I was forever deprived of delights that such beautiful creatures could bestow. And then not only did he kill William, he took the locket and then coincidentally, he found Justine and put the locket on her, which of course was what later sealed her fate as being the murderess of uh, little William. And he ends the chapter saying, I am alone and miserable. Man will not associate me, but one as deformed and horrible as myself could not deny herself to me. My companion must be of the same species and have the same defects. This being you must create. And so he says to Victor, I want a mate. I do not want to be alone. I have been run out of everything else. Even little children are scared to death of me. I want you to create a woman for me. And then I shall be, he doesn't say this, but I shall be Adam and I shall have my Eve. 